Breeze VTuber model is ragdolling out of excitement. It's getting thrown up in the air through the ceiling because we have a jury made here and Joe Bias going up against Lunar Lieber and their Dolph the Lunar Lieber returning to Bado City. Welcome oh, back, welcome back. Teleport. Oh my God, Bado. Nice Stop check from on. jury. Bree, is oh, that your strategy when you play against Dalsum? Like you're I looking for I don't know that? how to play against Dalsum. I've actually only seen one and that's Joseph. Oh, <laughs> and Joseph has a really clean Dalsum. Actually, this is Joseph's burner, Joe Bias. This is Joseph's burner. I wouldn't be surprised. He did say he wanted to come to Bado City one day. That's right. <laughs> oh, nice stop the whoa, wait, huh? Wow, Jerry, I felt like she broke through the drive impact, but they must I have like traded on the last sounds. hit. That's so weird, but it doesn't matter though, because Hadre's just in, uh, ends up closing out the round there with a simple grab. Really slick from Jovias, another boomer in the boomer bracket. Bado, boomer, Bado city tonight. <laughs> Lunar Lemur OG <laughs> team Bado. Jerry not getting out of this, uh, Dalsum's face right now, just unrelenting pressure. Nice jump from Dalsum to get out of that situation. Really nicely done, but Joe Bias is so tuned in to the, uh, 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 Lunar Lemur's movement. Respecting the teleport, knowing that they could just turn around at the drop of a dime. Oh, nice! Drive rush to cancel out into uh, drive impact into level three, which I think just closes out the round. Absolutely. And said. Absolutely. We can save our Sage M bucks on this one. And you know what was special about that interaction was that Jobias had a sliver of drive meter left. After all was said and done, checking the drive drive impact with their own, they had the drive rush to get there. They had the drive rush to DI, and they still had meter, but they didn't even need the meter. It was just uh, r really crazy. <laughs> it's a very expensive way to make sure you're getting that off, but as long as it works, it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Definitely. It was just, it was the situation where your win condition was just, you cash out, you take the round, and that's not just the round, that's the game. So, really well done. And now, here we see Lunar Lemur making the adjustments, keeping Jobias out a little better, but only for so long because Jobias has already backed them into this next corner and now is putting the fear of the grab in uh, Lunar Lemur's head and just really abusing. Nice parry there. Oh, ah, but they oh, don't come off the parry long. quick enough. And Jobias is gonna make a meal out of that. No punish counter necessary, but really well done with the normal throw there. Here we see Lemur immediately starting to back up. Nice teleport in, but Jobias is asking for it, I think. They wanted the teleport in. Oh, great throw escape there. And here so we go. Dre's gonna either grab or do a uh, standing medium punch in those situations when she's just walking up on you. Nice level two. Catches Joe Bias, catches Jerry on the way down. You have to pay attention to that. And now Lemur has Joe Bias burnt out. As long as Lunar keeps uh, Joe is away or Joe Bias away right now, I believe Lunar just wins this. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Ah, slick dive kick there. And the eye lands, huge punish counter, and Lunar Lemur spends the meter to cash out and take a round back. We have a round you know three, legends. Like I, <laughs> we... think, I think a jury could have canceled the level three there. That move is special cancelable. So unlucky, oh, that's so unlucky bottom. Oh my goodness. Nice slide at round start for Lunar Lemur. Just set, getting the knockdown and then setting up the distance here. Oh, trying to get a little cute with getting a grab after teleporting in, but uh, Jobias was oh, nice perfect parry. Woo! Not able to do anything off the perfect parry though, just because of the distance. Oh, Sadly, nice I wonder if they could have maybe squeezed in a throw, but oh, Jobias is gonna get big damage after catching down on that super meter here. Rock Bado, check it in, says, my God, she's a beast. <laughs> oh, oh. Burnt out, burning herself out here in this situation though. She's gotta stay out of the corner here. Be careful, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, Yuri's frames are too strong, legends in the foot. I'm, I'm just gonna stop right there. GG to super <laughs> well played. Players returning competitors to Bado City. We have Slade on the left with Marisa. Speaking of, we were just talking about Marisa and we got Delish Nutrish on the right, retiring their Diamond Kimberly and moved on to the turbulent wind, Rashid, who is now plot one. Let's hustle. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot that has like no minus frames. So, oh. Ooh. 
Nice little tap. Okay, both players are sort of dancing around each other. We got handshakes flying. So right there, you saw Delish Nutrish trade right there before the Gladius came out. Ooh, really nice throw there on the punish. Uh, get the punish counter off oh. the parry. Oh, he this is the reactions. Great patience and reactions from Slade. Oh, huge punish. A big combo here. Oh, into another combo. That's Marisa damage, baby. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Bree, how do you feel like, uh, playing against Marisa and Rashid? Uh, who who do you think's harder? Because you play against Fish's Marisa a lot. I feel like uh, Marisa is like decently easy to break through her offense if you uh, if you know they're just gonna do medium medium into Gladius, you can just uh, ex or OD um, spinning mixer out of it basically. Definitely, it's sort of like. It, there, there is a big knowledge check, I think, uh, in the beginner level when you're coming up through the ranks, and once you get through that, then it's, uh, it's, you feel pretty comfortable with the Marisa matchup until people start uh, pulling out the crazy stuff on you. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same way about Rashid, though. It's, he might seem simple to break through, but after a certain point, he's kind of, he can mix up so many things, like his um, spinning mixer, I think, on. Uh, light is really hard to get through because it's yeah absolutely not, absolutely not rashid rashid moves so fast and like we were talking about before uh if all the characters moved as fast as rashid they would have to do me like a uh, league of legends player because i play against rashid and i'm like if you're in the corner it's like what this guy really lives up to the name turbulent win man it's it's crazy Great patience from Slade, okay? The the defense is really well. Oh, and great interruption, checking the drive rush there, but unfortunately going into the EX, uh, the the EXDP there, you know, the, the it's, it's, it's so, so, so tough. Poor, poor Delish Nutrition is gonna be on the wrong end of that. Great block from Marisa. Nice check of Marisa's drive rush. Oh, nice mix up though. That's what I was talking about earlier. It's so hard to break through that light spinning mixer. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Great blocking low from Delish there. Guessing right on that mix up. You know, imagine uh, Marisa going for command grabs in those situations. Always hard to, <gasps> hard to stomach. And this is big. Oh, what a drop by Slade. But Slade, you know, I don't think they're going to feel any less confident about it. Nailing an anti air. And that is the set legend. Super well done by Slade and Marisa. So you playing as Jury Bree. What goes through your head when you get matched up with Guile? Are there any? Is there any? Is there anything you're gonna try to do? Um, don't jump. <laughs> don't jump. Don't jump. Always be wary of the flash kicks. That's right. Always be wary. You gotta respect I mean, the booms. You can do a uh, a little tech and try to react to him flash kicking with a dive kick, since the dive kick will beat flash kick if you start it after flash kick has been started. I see. But it's uh, it's very complicated and hard to do. Gotcha. Nice they're throwing out one EX boom. I like that from Lurker. Now they're just sitting back, getting their drive meter back. Oh, nice jump in there from Jury. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, this is getting. Uh, <laughs> this is the and dance. <laughs> and now. Oh Jury my goodness. Out of, never mind. She's building back her drive meter. She should be okay in this situation. Really well done. Nice. Nice from Jobias to, you know, even just take a hit there. Oh, spending it there. Oh. Uh oh. This is not a good position for Jury. She can easily get implemented from this position, too. Look at this great patience from Lurker. And Jobias trying to get it. Oh, oh no, unfortunately going to fall right onto the hurricane and then get blasted by a boom. Lurker closing out the round. Oh, flash kick coming out at the immediate start of the game. Nice call there from Lurker. Oh, oh. Jerry keeping it her turn, ending that interaction with a trade. A nice check. I will say that's the second time Jobias has checked drive rush. Really well done. Heads up. Heads up. Pushing Guile yeah, over to the corner such now. A, such a good move to check drive rush with, especially Guile's drive rush. Unable to check it there in that corner though. Oh. oh this is the tail Not of the. Not a good position here. This is sort of the tail of the tape from round one. Oh, and Guile now wants to really let this fly. Okay, big chip damage coming out. Just spending that level two to get the chip damage. Oh. No. Oh wow. 
Tobias needs to be really careful here. Especially with those Sonic boobs Nicely. coming out. Good luck through there. Oh my goodness. Joe Bias, you legend, you knowing. I think, here's what I'm thinking. Joe Bias smelled. That lurker wanted to go for the throw there right when they landed in front of them and goes for that. That's really well done. Oh my god, it's not no! enough. So <laughs> it's I, think not he to, I think he meant to use his other Fuha stocks there to chip him out. Oh no. Oh no. It was so close there. Tobias almost brought it all the way back, but Lurker's spine is just such a cold-blooded killer. Oh. Oh. Trying to check each other here. Just playing a little footsies going on here. Unable to get that grab off. So Burning see themselves out in this situation. Just trying to be safe instead of doing anything here. Here we go. Jabias oh. uh, burning out early, but knowing that they have the whole round to go, that there is a great possibility if they play as patient as they did in the last game, they'll get their meter back. Ah, oh, that's so oh. tough. That's a harsh one. Uh, they have their meter back, but look at the life advantage for Lurker Spine. It's just too much right there, folks. Lurker Spine taking another round under their belt. I feel like in that corner you have to take a risk at least going level one or od um uh pinwheel to get out of that corner there just especially against guile because he has so much pressure definitely and, and when you're in a situation where you fall so far behind it's almost like y you have to make a play you know you have to make a play to kind of come back so you have to do something risky and hope that it works because that you have to play to like any chance of a win condition you have left so Kudos oh. to them. <laughs> Trying not to burn themselves out here by taking projectiles. Oh, oh, nice check though. They like the Fuha just a little too much. Oh, nice jump jumping. in. Getting the air to air now. Oh, and they're not in such a bad position. Okay. <gasps> Great patience. And great decision making from Jabias. Ah, oh, gonna get caught with the flash kick, but you're okay to get oh, no. one of those. You can get two of those, you know. Oh, not three oh, of no. those, though, Jabias. <laughs> oh my god, but he did that time. <laughs> okay, three of those. I guess four is the magic number. Well done, Joe. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was getting worried. Oh, three, but one nice, perfect, perfect parry. Big punish into the level three gonna attack the drive meter of guile and get a big chunk off early on keeping up the pressure here just so guile can't really do a lot pushing him all the way into the corner but not really walking up to keep him in that corner and here we see guile oh. turtling oh that was an opening oh nice delay that was really slick from jury and joe Baez. <gasps> Unable to keep him in that corner, but I don't think that matters when Jerry burns him out here. Oh, great. Little cross up there. Oh. Didn't get anything off it, but good flash kick. The patience. Oh, no. oh great. Walk up to the throw. A little Manon esque. <laughs> 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 oh, missing the cross up right there. Jerry able to get a couple lights off, but now Guile has the drive meter back. This is could be the set for Lurker. So Jabias has to get this right. One more interaction will do it. Leave one interaction here, any combo will just lead into a level three, or just a walk up grab to end the set. Or that sorry, drive rush grab. Drive rush it in for the grab, and that punish counter makes sure of it. Lurker Spine pulls off the 2 0 and locks up in winner's finals. They are back on the top stage. Which is a uh, not very Marisa sided, from what I understand. So I'm wondering how this Marisa is going to play this out properly. It's very hard to uh to feel any any the advantage in any matchup versus guile versus lurker spines guile because they are such a legend so adept but slade knows marisa inside and out and i know that they are a pro as well <laughs> look at this all right they're getting thrown around they look like breeze uh, uh breeze animation there on their v2 with a ragdoll <laughs> animation <laughs> but Just coming back silly goofy fun oh nice jump over big strong punish counter throw to put guile right there and nice respecting the sweeps. Gonna get the crush, and that means big damage. Oh. Just keeping that pressure up in the corner. Almost burning out Guile here in this situation. But Guile getting out of the corner pretty quickly. 
Ooh, this is close. Okay. Slade not taking the bait. Unsure maybe if they would live. Responding with the drive impact. Not wanting to spend their super meter either. <gasps> oh my goodness. Dude. I think we both thought they that. might fall back onto the boom. Oh, they're armoring through it. Ooh, oh, no. no. They tried. They tried, but the boom was too fast. Lur uh, you have to ask yourself, does Lurker have charge? Most of the time, Lurker has charge. I feel like that guy walks around with charge Ooh. in his back pocket. Oh, I'm able to punish this round start flash kick. Okay, we see Lurker pull that out on round two startup. I'm not sure how fast you guile as a kick is, but do remember, guys, if you're crouching, your punches also count as a low if you're trying to stop a Gladius. Excellent anti-air from Slade after a dominant pressure sequence, taking Guile to the corner, closing it out. We have round three in this game one here. Another punish counter, a huge over. bread and butter for Marisa, but the flash kick comes out. Oh no. So drive rush grab, which I believe this Guile seems to be loving right now. Burning out Guile pretty easily in this situation here. But definitely looks that like was they're not gonna be able to keep them in the corner. Unfortunate for that interaction not to go Guile's way, but look at that. It's like it doesn't <gasps> Oh, that was so close. Trying to check the boom with your level three. Kudos. You know, great idea there from Slade. Unfortunately, just a little slow on it. Guile recovers so fast from the booms and Lurker is throwing him out. Just, ah, just not quick enough. Oh my goodness. But uh, GG, that's, a, that's game one, folks. Game one, the Lurker spine. Oh, yeah. oh nice. nice overhead there. Get a little extra seasoning on that bread and butter sequence there from Slade. up and then blocking the sonic boom is always so hard for me to do it's so hard to, to like you almost have to um you almost have to just you have to it, it's so hard I, you have to keep your fingers on the parry button at all times at all times yeah I, I feel like you have to just against any character with a projectile that can do it like that yeah oh another I flash kick guile and this uh, crush should do it oh no they don't okay Maybe thinking that the flash kick would seal it, but now Marisa has a way out. Ah, nah, not with that crush, sadly. I'm just on another level. Guile proclaiming, I'm just on another level. Can Lurker's Guile be stopped here in Bono City? Oh, nice go through with the projectile there with the armor. And great armored into the oh command God, grab as well. Much. Nicely done. That's half of Lurker's bar gone. Oh, unfortunately not getting the anti-air there. They might, I think they were trying to do it. Maybe instead of the- Oh uh, no, the drop! Oh, and, oh. they're not gonna cash out here. They wanna get this last little bit on their own steam. They don't wanna rely on the super meter. And I like that not burning yourself out, taking a hit on a boom, cause you have such a life advantage. They know that they just have to trade a little bit. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt oh, though. No. Oh no. Oh shoot. Over. Uh, too. Yeah. That's harsh. That is so harsh. Poor Slade making the decision to not spend the meter and close out the round because they wanted to preserve it for round three. But Guile, super patient, holding on and never giving up. Never, never throwing in the towel saying, if you want this round, you're going to have to pry it from my cold, dead feet. Okay? My goodness. <laughs> super well done. I didn't know Guile used his Ooh. feet too. We are back. Are we going to see a character change? Maybe we're just taking a breath here. Oh, oh. we are seeing a character change. Okay. Slade is going to be pulling out Chun Li here in Winner's Finals. Wowzers. Okay. Chun Li also having a really good neutral. But I don't know if she can keep up with uh, Guile's projectiles. I mean, maybe the Hassan shoe can cancel out Guile trying to charge that flash kick in. Hmm. It remains to be seen. I, I don't think I've ever seen Slade play Chun-Li yet. So I'm, I'm really, my mind is just like, I'm, I'm a little silent because I'm like, I, I'm I'm struck dumb. I'm, I'm very hyped to see what they can pull off with, with Chun-Li. Hell yeah, Slade. Good luck, have fun. Can Slade bring it all the way back? A 3-0 is what they need. And you know, Lurker is going to be doing everything they can to not make that happen. Oh, Great DI oh, back. Great reaction here. This is going to be big damage. Cashing out on that damage really easily. And then checking Guile, too. Getting another good combo in here. Oh, my goodness. Slade. 
The counter pick is going crazy. Nice reversal there. Oh my oh. god, it's charging up to make sure you get the follow up off of your fireball. It's crazy. Nice dry run from Slade. Slade knowing to beat a charge character, you need to bust out a charge character. Here we go. Another good check from Chun Li there. Oh, and to another one. Got a waking up parrying instead of usually pressing his button like he was last time. Oh, I was wondering if the flash kick was gonna come out though. Chun doing super well, getting all these uh, all these Oki situations, all these calls are right. And now look at Guile charging there. Oh, oh missing the unable. Crowd, though. They weren't able to get the whiff punish off, but let's see what Guile and Lurker Spine can do at such low life. Never count them out. We've seen them come back before. <gasps> oh. uh, Chun Li just doesn't have that same invincibility throwing startup that Jury does on hers, I don't think. Oh my goodness, what a perfect parry. Can that close it out? It does. Slade. Slade, Slade, Slade. The character switch pays dividends and they take a game back in winner's finals. The set is oh. on, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the brooms in the closet. No sweep here. Oh. Trying to punish with the somersault, but I think it's startup takes too long, but that doesn't matter when he just does it on a wake up. Here we go. Oh, trying to jump in and getting a successful jump and grab here. There we go. Slade, we saw, did try to go for the perfect parry again. Really nice heads up from Lurker to see that. See, it didn't happen. Go for the throw immediately. Oh, nice. Nice overhead over that, over the hurricane. Really well done. I always forget you have to stand for a uh, Hassan shoe. Mm. Nice. Oh, the, oh, and the flash kick comes out. There it is. <gasps> The I EX one came out. Thing. Nice of Slade to throw the EX fireball there, knowing that Guile was burnt out, forcing the jump, and now having all the advantage to themselves. Close out that round. Oh! oh not able to get over that hurricane there. Not this time. Lurker sort of making adjustments to the spacings all around, and oh, Chun Li is gonna get the DI back. To being able to respond there. Oh, but messing up the combo. Flash kick comes out. Nice air to air. Oh, oh missing the grab though. Forgetting the micro walk there. Chun Li gonna burn themselves out as well. So this is a uh, Guile licking his chops, ready to get some big chip. Oh. Oh, Guile really getting nice. In. Oh, that doesn't launch to wall though. Here we go. Guile has come all the way back here. Can they close out the round? It's gonna be close. The throw makes it even closer and ah! just one tap. Lurker digs deep and finds it. Says, okay, okay, we got a game here. Game four, round three. This is set point for Lurker Spine. Slade needs this to force game five. Going over with the Hassan shoe, but not able to land with the Hassan shoe itself. But that doesn't matter when she can just get in, anyways. That's a really spicy tech. I wasn't really uh, privy to that <laughs> before watching this set. So thank you, Slade, giving us all some matchup knowledge. Getting a nice damage combo in with a check and doing it again. This is going to be this in. This time, I think it's going to go into level two or level one. Sorry. Oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I don't think Capcom likes us right now. I don't think Capcom in. likes it. <laughs> I don't think Capcom likes it. Oh, oh, oh okay, we are so back. back. <laughs> we are so back. I, I think it was I think I, I have to say I think it was set I think it was set in stone after that drive rush into that move that it was gonna be uh that was Chun Li's round because the drive rush <laughs> you know her uh, <laughs> I think it was uh uh, I think it had been settled, but Slade pulls it off. Let's talk about it. Slade pulls it off. And now we have a game five and winner's finals here. This Chun Li is running rampant versus Guile. Dropping the same combo again. Oh, and getting a. Oh, I forgot. Flash kick to, oh, from the Asanchu. Oh, no. I think that might be that round. No, never mind. I lied. It's close. 
Ew, nice DI there and Slade. Not going to be able to click their level one. I think might have been their only way out of that. I don't know if they could have jumped. Uh, but, uh, man, okay, Lurker Spine says no. <laughs> I will not be stopped. <laughs> Lurker Spine is such a special player because look how, look at the adjustments they've made, man. Look at the adjustments and look at, they're, they're coming into the uh, game five trying to control this thing. Take it back. Slate's still imposing their game plan super effectively, but they've shown, uh, you know, Lurker Spine has picked on, uh, picked up on so many tricks so fast and this is it. Oh, wow. Lurker, why didn't you close there? It's because they felt confident they could close there. Bree, do we have a grand finalist? I believe we do, Bono. I believe we do. Those were just those adjustments were really quick there. Now there are two Eds in the game because I call um Cammy with her outfit three Edward Elric. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we do see the Ed from Loco, like we said, retiring the Zangief. Now with the plat two and okay here. Oh. And John it's playing Marisa as well. Here. I was like, oh my goodness, are we watching Slade? I was like, we're not watching Slade yet. My goodness, John playing Marisa too. That's right. John had to retire the Blanca and now going for Marisa. They've been playing a little Marisa, a little Honda. Oh, but I don't think John knows fully Marisa yet. I think he's literally only had like two days on her. So this matchup might be a little rough, especially because um, Ed has a lot of offensive pressure, especially in a, in a matchup like this, where Marisa can't really get in very easily. Nice throw. Ooh, nice little invincible there to get back into it. I like the low oh, there nice from John. Oh, nice check again! Great armor. Oh, but the level one as the reversal is really nice from Loco. I love them spending that. Oh, oh, so unfortunate for Loco. I think they went to, uh, to maybe they were they were caught in like a oh my goodness I didn't know if the armor was coming. Now they're airborne. What am I gonna do? What button do I press? And that that, that mental stack just ends up costing a costing ah, a round. I nice think. Jump over right there. Ah. Uh. I like Ed hitting low here. Nice getting the crush from the DI. And now this is a little bread and butter. I like that from Ed. Big throw. Oh, trying to go. Yep. Oh, nicely done. They're using the, uh, I call it the Black Whip for all my uh, my Hero Academia fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just a walk up grab there for a simple OP. Ed trying to check uh, Marisa with a level three wake up. <gasps> nice throw from Loco. Oh, oh they couldn't get a second one. one. Ah. Oh, they're oh. one tap away. Can they find it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. They do ah! find it. They do find it. The armor will not save you with no juice in the tank. Nicely done. <laughs> Marisa might be able to just level three through these projectiles because it has invincibility frames and it goes so far. That's a good check. Sure. That's a good call as well. We did see, we just saw Slate try to do that in the uh, in the other one, uh, the other set as well, right? In Winner's Finals versus, uh, versus Guile. Might be able to. I don't think Chun Li's uh, level three goes far enough, though. Oh. Oh, I think no. I think they did it with Marisa, but it was against Guile's boom, oh, and it was it was too. Uh, it was uh, Guile just recovering so fast from that sucker. Nice. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's where John is gonna cash out. John decides to spend it right now. Attack the drive meter and the life meter. Oh my goodness. Now I'm we have Loco. Corner now. Oh. Huh. Not able to win and or, uh, finish out the set or game. Sorry, I'm not one there. Ooh. Nice throw text here from Jukebox John, but Loco pulling out the Zangief brain knows when to mix it up. Hanging oh on by God. a thread and Loco takes game one. Loco, where did you find that? Legend, absolute legend. Deep for that one, Vada, real deep. That was clutch mode. Loco, that was clutch mode. Love to see it. Nice DI through that move. Here we go. The bread and butter is slick. Oh. And Bree, Ed has just nailed it. Loco has just nailed mixing in the throws here. Just... 
feels like Marissa Another can't one. really do a lot here because of how much offensive pressure Ed has and how much space he can just go in. It's suffocating right now, and look at the proof right there. The perfect KO. I think that, that perfect KO animation is really slick, too, on Ed. I love that, catching all the little psycho particles. <laughs> Uh, Bree, have you ever run into Ed on ranked? Like, have you played ranked? I have, ranked? I have a okay. few of them. Uh, I will say, though, in my ELO, it doesn't really seem like a, no, a lot of them know what they're doing. And I see. You can uh, check Ed pretty easily, too. Okay, got you. I, yeah, I was asking because I was wondering if you had played ranked since since Ed came out, because if you have, you definitely run into Ed. <laughs> I only ran into one, funny enough. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, I don't That's see funny. a lot of them here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, getting the armor off there so Ed can't get in with that jump in, but Ed just coming up and grabbing again. Yeah. <laughs> trying to check her stuff with that drive impact, but the jump in once again just not able to beat Gladius. Nicely done there from Jukebox John to even up the round count, keep themselves alive in the bracket. Nice little bread and butter from Marisa there. Oh, trying to check him again with the uh, Gladius, but unable to somehow in that situation. Oh, just trying to keep his space here, Jubal is. Another check with Gladius here. Poor Loco keeps hitting into armor, but oh, Loco is the king of these level threes. Loco, we know, loves to let them rip from Zangief. And here we go, finding a big... Oh, Marisa oh no! Wrong Jubal <laughs> by Mordello! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, Squid Senpai, you started a trend with the whole by Mordello! Marisa and Jukebox John take a game back! Here we go, here we go, the set is even Steven! Even Steven, oh, and it looks like Loco is gonna go for a character swap! Is Loco gonna mix it up? Loco is pulling out the Zangief! Oh, <laughs> Zangief is here, legend. They're going the distance like a true boxer, going from boxer to wrestler now. Loco is pulling out Zangief. Talk about going the distance. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of a uh, lot more grabs this time, but uh, you know maybe a Manon strat out here. Just should walk up. Walk up. Command grab. <laughs> grab. That's it. Drive rush in. Command grab. <laughs> I'm minus. Command grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh I my god. expected, you know. They're like, oh, well, you're minus, so you're definitely not going to do it. And you're like, nah. <laughs> 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 oh, as we can see here, it just happens. It seems like it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus, love. <laughs> it again going for the air grab this time too and i oh for my it god the pun hey, brie that's what i i love calling that i call that the um oh my god loco the you mad, mad legend grab. command grab command grab command grab command grab command grab. <laughs> can we look at the input history oh. there oh gonna whip unfortunately gonna whip that one a little too quick oh you tried to do a wake up command grab ex there <laughs> <laughs> jump and command grab Oh, I feel like that's the only two again. words you're going to need to know for the whole rest of this set. <laughs> oh, just another grab coming out. Now we're in the corner here. Just another command grab. Oh my god, they're just one away. Oh, no. One wheel kick away. <laughs> Look, just like that. Nothing just like that. And there were double digit command grabs, I feel. <laughs> just about. John played that pretty well, uh, especially for not knowing Marisa, besides maybe for a few days. So, you know, let's see how this matchup goes for someone who's been playing Marisa for maybe a few months, you know? Exactly. That's a great point, Lee. It's like, uh, uh, Brie. <laughs> Sorry, I got Lee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh, I, got, I have Tekken, Tekken 8 on my mind still. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the Squid Senpai run. Here we go. The um, we're, we're going from like a secondary Marisa to a main Marisa, like a, a Brett, you know, like a, a tried and true vet and veteran Marisa. But <laughs> walk up and come in, grabs again. We're just seeing a lot of that, Bato. Free, I think we did a Curse of the Commentator. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I couldn't have said anything. <laughs> really well done on this main thing, Yi from Loco. Oh, oh, he's wait, Bato, I think it's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let's see. Free. 
Jump oh my god. <laughs> Bree, I, 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 that might be the first ever PP in Bono City. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Loco, you absolute legend there. That is one game. And what oh. a game it is. Oh, Bono. I'm sorry? Bono, the character switch. I'm so excited, Bono. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Bree. <laughs> Bree is, keeps <laughs> cracking me up, throwing the the model into the air. <laughs> what do you mean model, Bato? This is me. Oh what yeah, Bree's real. <laughs> Bree's real corporal yeah, being is being ragdolled yeah, this is in this uh, this right in what looks like this treasure trove. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! Nice anti-air immediately, but oh no. <laughs> gonna get perfect parried into an immediate uh, command grab ex here doing a lot of damage to jury big I wheel kick hold up in this matchup to be honest i think you're right loco's just cruising oh. and abusing here oh but getting out of the corner here jury's almost oh no she's got a oh, these commandos how is loco hitting these so consistently Byronic checking in said they're on vacation. They only have audio. This is like the FGC radio. It's our job as commentators to let you know that this is bananas, Byronic. Bananas. Oh, nice check from Jury. Oh, no. Not able to get in the third uh, medium punch off of that, though. Getting burned out here in this situation. This could be very bad for Jury, especially when a lot of their ways they're getting out of the situations is EX uh, DP. That's right. Oh, They've done it so many times, close. and now... Oh, poor Slade is never holding up here, and Loco's just been command grabbing each time. Oh. Nicely done, going with the throw to get out uh, to to stop at least that EX command grab from coming in. Oh, they have their meter oh, back no. now. Hold up, hold up. Yes. Oh my God. But I'm I'm so scared for them right now. Oh, nice punish. I think this. Is, oh, very close. This is close. This is close. I hope Slate doesn't rue the day that they did not no! spend the meter again. <laughs> oh no, it happens again. Ladies and gentlemen, poor Slate doesn't spend the meter to close out. But and that lets that lets Zang even Loco come in and finish the set. Finish the game oh, off. That's... There's one more game in this set, Legends. What will happen? What will happen? Oh. Another command grab comes out, throws Jury around. She's down to about two thirds, oh. half of the health, and the running bear grab lands. This is command <gasps> grab city from Loco. Bree Another does. one again, though. <laughs> that last command one. Command grab, command grab, command grab. They never expected the fifth time, you know what I mean? They never expect the fifth command grab, and Slade got in a grapple of their own, grappling the grappler with a normal grab there, but only temporarily before they got grappled again. Another one coming out. Loco has these grabs down. <laughs> nice DP there from uh, uh, from Jury and Slade. Mm. Hey, Slade just trying to stay away. No, they are not jumping enough, sadly. Uh, That's going to be it, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and legends all around the world. A running bear grab closes it. That was Command Grab City, the clinic. From Ethan's Loco there, GG's and Super Lurker putting Loco downstairs in round one. Loco digging all the way back. We have two players on opposite sides of the tournament. Two different brackets climbing all the way through to meet together at the end in this epic face-off. Free, what a narrative match. Oh my God. Bado, I don't up. think he's gonna be able to walk up grab, Bado. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be around here. Of all the people in this tournament, it wouldn't work on. Lurker is gonna be the most wise to it. Oh, oh, but maybe, Bado. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, here Bado, we go. It's happening. It's happening. Great <laughs> respect from Loco. Just gotta be practicing his uh his wake up the command grabs and command grabs in the mirror every morning here. Yeah, oh my goodness. Goes, I am lightning! <laughs> <laughs> I love the respect. Nice throw escape there. Really, uh, uh, Lurker loves to do that after jumping down on the other side here. to get that throw off, especially when the uh, when the oh, after letting a boom rip. The armor saving him. Oh! Oh, Nicely done. Just a nice check again. Missing the grab though. Getting. Oh wait, not getting thrown in the corner. Just getting thrown oh. back. Oh, trying to catch there. Oh, nice throw escape there. Oh, look, the EX, the flash kick is going to steal the round.
nicely done, Lurker. But that was great patience from both players. This is really like neck and neck stuff here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Don't apologize, Bri. I feel like we're all getting the wind knocked out of us watching this. I am sorry, but the command grab is just affecting me right now. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually coughing from it. Great DI but from Lurker to keep the pressure up and has Loco still in the corner. Oh, missing the grab off the drive rush there and getting Loco getting out of the corner off of that. Trying to... Oh, oh so my close, goodness. Just stopping a little so short. Ah, oh, that's a round end there. Lurker is gonna cash out here. Bree, will it kill? No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, I don't think it'll kill. I don't think it'll kill bottom. <laughs> GG's and super well played to both players. This is a neck and neck set. This is so ridiculously awesome. Oh my goodness. Great stuff, Loco. Great stuff, Lurker. <gasps> oh, nice check from Loco there, but another nice check from uh, Lurker just using his. Uh... OD. That flash uh, kick comes out yeah. like 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 it's their job. Just really not low forward over and over again from Zangief and it's almost always working there. <laughs> oh, nice jump in. The oh, grab, or the my goodness. Grab missing though. Lurker studying this match ready. Ready for Ooh, it. Oh, great. It's nice that they didn't get punished now. Okay. Oh, they're oh. going for the kick parry. Are they trying? <laughs> <laughs> Very cheeky move from Loco, but unfortunately it spells their end. Great patience from Lurker to grow another round closer. Oh, trying to get in over the sonic boom and trying to jump even though that charge was there. It's so hard to tell sometimes when uh, he's... Uh, oh my goodness, the third Whoa, what? just traded there. I think that we've seen that interaction twice on stream tonight, isn't that? Such a <laughs> That's pretty wild. Too. That is oh, pretty God. dang wild. Oh. I feel like we're going to see a level three from Loco. I'm on weight and bottom. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're not. <laughs> Loco is the king of digging back into a game, digging back into a set with those. And Lurker fought, has brought themselves. Oh. Are we going to see another switch? Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Wait, let me out. I don't want to play. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I got a little antsy there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Capcom I am out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath. Loco looking to mix it up with Ed now. And this means that they are locked into Ed for the rest of the set. They're switching off on set point for themselves, so they need to hold Ed to get the reset. I'm not sure if Ed can really do this matchup, because from what I've seen, Ed doesn't really do that great into characters with projectiles, because almost every one of his moves just interacts with the projectiles instead of the character itself. Ed will have to be real careful about busting oh, projectiles with the fireball of his that own. Grab there. Oh, but what? Nicely done, armoring through with the drive impact stuff. Oh, and a flash kick coming back. Oh, wow, that didn't break that instantly either. But Ed's projectile just being faster than the uh, lurkers here in this situation. Unable to. Oh, nice <gasps> oh, grab. Nice grab. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, poor Loco standing up into the hurricane. That is a toughie. Oh, coming in here, but that's barely minus, so. Lark was just gonna punish that. Getting a, large, a little hard to get in here in this situation. <gasps> nice, perfect parry though. Really well done, gets the throw, pushes Lurker back and now respects that flash kick. It's a nice punish off. <gasps> Whoa, wow. last second Oh my there, goodness, bottom. that's gonna give Lurker the level three for whenever they wanna spend some meter, they have three bars. <gasps> Accidentally uh, jumping into it there. You know, Ed might be able to sh shimmy up here. You know, maybe do something here. Oh! Ah, oh, very so close. Lurker doesn't close it there with the super art. Oh! Nice level oh. two. Mm, Get some damage. I don't think it matters. Oh, nice. <gasps> Not gonna get the punish off. Oh no, they need to be careful. Parry, parry, oh, parry. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hey, man, I'm doing my nice job. And <laughs> knowing that the projectiles were about to let rip, Loco is back, folks. Loco is back. Oh, nice flash kick check there. 
Ooh, that air to air proper. Ooh. My air day, I don't know what I'm saying, Bada. I'm so excited from the last round that I just started singing stuff. This is what that Grand Finals does to us. Excellent response there from Lurker. The oh, DI reactions are on point. Uh, Ed jumping out of the corner gets Lurker in there now. Gonna get the crush off now. Ooh, Lurker unable, but drops, drops the combo in the corner, but keeping the, <gasps> respecting the flash kick now. Oh, but they don't get too beefy of a punish off. Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. Lurker's, er, Lurker's burnt out here though. Might be able to keep a Loco in the corner here off of this, but I'm, oh, I'm my sure goodness. this level two will be able to let uh, Loco just walk up here. Ooh, look has got to be very careful, though. I'm pretty sure, like, two Sonic Booms, yep. No! The two Sonic uh, Booms! Bree, you called it! Sick. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness! Bree, how did you know that was the win con? I knew, I knew. I, can, I could smell it, Bato. I could smell it. <laughs> well, just as you said it, Lurker Spine finds it! And they take home another championship in Bato City! The third! Let's the go. third! Back in my day, we called it America's Funniest Home Videos. Nowadays, they call it, like, I don't even know, Live Leak.